Hey everybody, it's Bert. Merry Christmas to all of you. I hope everyone's having a great holidays. I've been really busy lately fighting off a wonderful case of <clears throat> food poisoning, so I haven't been uploading or really doing anything besides puking my brains out. So now that I'm feeling a little bit better, we're going to go ahead and we're going to build the racing seat mount for the passenger side seat in the Exoset. So let's get to it. Now the big difference between the driver's side seat and the passenger side seat, as you can see, the driver's side seat is there. It has a slider on it, so it will move back and forth to help anybody who might drive it that is obviously of different heights. However, the passenger side seat, we are not going to be putting sliders on. It's one less thing that we have to worry about fabricating. It's less weight, and it's one less thing you have to worry about breaking loose or moving or anything like that when you're using the Exoset. set. And obviously, I want to make sure that the passenger seat is as safe as possible because more than likely it'll be my wife that's sitting in it a lot and I would want to make sure that she is always safe. So, because I love you, babe. So, what we need to do is we need to fabricate a special seat mount for it. Now, in a couple of the earlier videos, I talked about making one. I did 3D print one. However, I've decided that I'm going to redo the entire design of it simply because I decided to go all out. I want to make this thing as strong as possible and I also want to make the seat sit at roughly the same height as the driver's side seat with the mount that we had designed originally. The seat um, would have differed in height by about three inches when you looked at it from the front and it was an eyesore and it really drove me nuts. So we're just gonna scrap that idea even though it did work and we're gonna try something completely different. All right, so I don't have a chop saw, but an easy way to get away without having a chop saw is just get a nice 12 inch metal cutoff wheel and use a miter saw. Pretty much uses the exact same functions and it'll give you a nice cut every time. Mainly because A, I'm low tech, I'm limited on space, and I don't feel like going out and buying one because I've never really needed one except for right now. So my, some of you might be wondering, why do I have a bar stool for a welding thing? I'm trying to create a new fad and I don't know if it's gonna catch on, but this is what I got to work with right now, so I'm just gonna make the most of it because if I weld in the garage, I'm gonna blow up my house. So, yeah. we had designed and this is like the eighth revision of how to do this we're not going to go with that weird trapezoid looking thing anymore so what we have here is a 17 inch piece of C channel C channel <laughs> on the ends there's little one inch tabs that are going to sit on the outside of the square tubing on the farthest points this is going to sit directly down on it and we can adjust it either way we want and then we can attach on anchor points which we will drill on this where we want to mount the brackets that will actually hold on to the seat. So as you can see here we've got some very and I don't like to toot my own horn but I'm actually not a half bad welder since I'm working with like the cheapest welder known to man but we got really nice welds these things are going to be plenty strong they will hold up just fine so once we get this thing all cleaned up and you know ready to mount then we'll end up sending it the powder coating that way so it looks perfect it doesn't rust and it you know, fits in with the aesthetic of the uh, exoset all together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grind this down, clean it up, make it look nice, and then we're going to design our uh, location for mounting points so that we can figure out how to mount the seat, which I'm still currently working on. Yeah. <laughs> So here we go, one not cleaned up, one cleaned up. This will then sit in there. Obviously cleaning up the bottom, not a big deal because A, I can't really get to a whole lot of it and it's not ever gonna be seen once it's powder coated so it won't really matter. This one still needs a little bit of love so let's give her some love. All right, so I've obviously gone through several different iterations of the seat mount and I think I want iteration like number nine, 
10. I really have lost track. In essence, I decided to scrap the whole initial build design and went with something completely different. And this is what I did. All right, so this is what I came up with after several iterations. The seat will actually sit across this and I'm just go ahead and take it over here. The seat will sit roughly just like that. Nothing fancy, but it'll get the job done. It'll be sitting at a fairly decent angle. Shouldn't impact any of the more important bits on the back of the extra set, mainly that pipe right there, because that's what some people have problems with is uh, the back arms hitting that. So hopefully we don't have any problems there. So now what I gotta do is just go ahead and make another one out of that. Here we go. So what we've done here is we have bolted on our mounts to this ruler. I have everything measured at exactly 11 and a half inches spaced, which will be proper for sitting the bolts within the rectangular housing of the track dog racing aluminum seat. And once we have this bolted in, we can just set it down. We know then that it's sitting obviously straight and level with each other. We mount these up right next to each other and they're perfect. Everything sits exactly the way it should be. So all I have to do is tack weld these two in the corner, unbolt it, Weld the rest of it and we're good to go. I am going to add some support pieces um, going across in that to make this a very uniform shape and just add a little bit of more strength and rigidity. But for now, I just want to get the general shape down and then we can kind of strengthen it afterwards. I know this isn't super technical, it's not super fancy, but it is effective and it does make everything the exact same length and angle. And it should be accurate within a millimeter, so I'm not worried at all. So now what I get to do is fire up the welder and weld in the freezing cold rain. Yay! Alrighty guys, and here's pretty much the final product. So we're going to go ahead and mount then at the four ends, grade eight hardware going down into the actual Exoset chassis, which will obviously secure it very nicely. And in the event that we ever want to change out the seat mounting system, we can just go ahead and unbolt this. Now it's obviously sitting at an angle, which is roughly 10 degrees. The chair itself is sitting at another 10 degrees. So we're sitting at about 20 to 21 degrees which is roughly right where the driver's side seat is also sitting, which is what is also recommended from Track Dog Racing. So at this point, what we're gonna do now is go ahead and drill some holes and mount this bad boy into the chassis and see how it looks. Fingers crossed.
one fully mounted passenger side seat. Now to go ahead and try and get the seat cover on it. That should be a lot of fun. Because I'll tell you, what, that one was not easy, and I haven't stretched out the, uh, I haven't stretched out this one at all. So. All right, now I get to try and squeeze this thing over here. And do keep in mind, everything here is made in the USA, which is very important to me as far as parts that I can. If I can get anything made in the USA, I will pay by far the extra money to get it. That's something I'm extremely keen on. And Track Dog Racing, an American company, they make amazing stuff for your Miata. If you ever need anything, give them a call. They're in Texas. They got great shipping rates and they make phenomenal parts. I can't say enough good things about them. They didn't sponsor this video, but they make a really good product and I'm very happy with their service. So now we get to try and squeeze this thing. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's the worst of it, I think. I hope, <coughs> mainly, hoping, hoping a lot. That, that's important. All right, pull you down. Oh. Now, obviously, this does wobble a little bit. I have to tighten everything down, which we won't do right now, obviously, because we're just test fitting everything. Now it's time to get the wife and have her sit in it and tell me what she thinks. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, time for the true test to see if the wife will fit. All right, honey. You're mean. I'm not mean. I'm a great guy. True test. How's it fit? Tightly. Tightly? Well, that's good. It's better than not tightly. Feet out. How do your feet hit the firewall? Is it comfortable? Yes. Good. Do you think we'll survive a crash? No. <laughs> well, at least she's honest. <laughs> All right. So it meets the wife's approval since that is technically her chair because that's what I had to do in order to let her let me have this is I had to make a chair for her. So will you be happy in this? Do I have a choice? Well, I mean, you have a choice. Fine. I want the driver's seat. No. Nuh uh. No. No. Get out! Get out! Just get out! Just get out now! You've broken the ruse! Now you are banished! Alright. Now time for me to try and fit in it. Mm. Oh. Oh. That's actually very comfortable. Not bad, Bert. Not bad. Now to try and do the trans tunnel and everything else that goes with it. The only thing, no, the spacing's about right. It's, it's probably accurate to within about a millimeter again, which is my, my, my tolerance for, for fitting the seats here. And getting the seats to fit, obviously, it's gonna be a bit of a trial and error. These probably won't be the last set of seats we'll have in this. Eventually, we'll probably get something really nice, like, carbon fiber or maybe we'll get sponsored at some point or maybe for the next exoset we build we will so obviously the seats they fit very nice the comfort the angle is good it should be good for a nice long trip obviously you're going to be held back so in all honesty i could just sit here this isn't this isn't bad at all actually i could actually take a nap right now that being said it's very cold i'm very tired so that doesn't help at all but I think it's laid out very good. Obviously, when you build your exo set, you're going to have to make a decision. Do you want to make mounts, or do you just want to buy something that's a, a, you know something uh, pre-made? If I had to do this again, I would go strictly with Corbo's pre-manufactured mounts for the NA and B Miata, and I would mount whatever seat I wanted. I am not going to make mounts again. It was way too much of a pain in the ass, and I honestly don't have the level of engineer or the level of um, fabricating skills as I would like. I can engineer stuff just fine. Actually building it, I tend to have a bit of a difficulty unless it's 3D printed. But this is the biggest part of the project that I was worried about. And now that it's done, I think the rest of it's going to go by very smoothly. So that's what we got. So I hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas, a great holiday. I will see you all in the new year. I'm still not feeling that hot from my food poisoning. So probably going to take the next couple of days off and uh, just lay in bed and probably play Fallout 4. So 
I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. And until next time, I am Bert from Pixel Armory. Like, favorite, subscribe. Have a great Christmas. I love you guys. And I will see you, well, sometime in the very near future. Take care, guys. If you're a fan of Pixel Armory and Burt's Garage, feel free to become a Patreon subscriber, just like our good friend Patrick O'Connor and Nico Dache. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later. Oh, shit.